Let me show you another shot here where we have solid. This is a little bit of a different animation rate than we saw before, um, but it all moves around in real time. And again, we want to be able to see he looks different without his hair. Like that is not the same big thousand pound beast animal that that is. Like it just conveys a different physicality to the scene and it impacts the animator's experience while they work. Um, so what do you think of Sullivan? Let me zoom in on his head here. So what do you think? Do you like it, do you like, it like this? <laughs> Sullivan doesn't like to make it. He doesn't like to do a bunch of it. He wants to look like this. Do you like that, Sullivan? There we go. Much better. This time he looks good for a seat. How does that make you feel, Sullivan? Yay! He's very excited to have this guy this for a seat. He's very happy with us for that. And again, this is all running on the NVIDIA GPU. We're drawing that fur here. We have two characters, each with fur. We also have shadow passes, and the fur is being drawn in the shadow pass. So we're drawing those three, we're drawing those three million vertices four times here, and we're not having any kind of slowdown. It's really important for us to, to be able to create an environment that can be playful, where the animator can just reach in and grab that character and start moving him around in real time without having to worry about slow, bogging down speeds. And that's what we get with Custom, and that's enabled by the NVIDIA GPUs that we use.